John Whitney is a seasoned independent film veteran and has been making movies in Ohio for most of his life. Let's see what John's all about. My interest kind of went, went from my father, who was a, a broadcaster in Dayton, and he really loved movies. And he got me interested in editing. So I did some film editing at the news station when they had film, just for fun. Um, and we went to see a lot of films. And then as I got older, I was trying to figure out what I was going to do with my life. And I analyzed, you know, what did I love? And I decided that I loved films. And I liked telling stories, so why not investigate that? A friend of mine who had been going to Ohio State, had uh, I told him this, and he said, well, you know, Ohio State has a film program. Why don't you come up to Columbus and stay with me and come to Ohio State? So that's what I did. So I enrolled Ohio State, and I learned the basics there and had lifelong friendships with people that I've been working with ever since. So after Ohio State and after a few years of freelancing, I decided that I needed to make more films. And in 2000, um, and with a group of friends, and on a weekend, we uh, got a bunch of short end, black and white, 35 millimeter film, and we went out and we shot Solve for X, which is a story about a hitman who uh, things kind of go awry. He, he's trying to do a job, and it doesn't work out for him in the end. A friend of mine um, had some extra film from a commercial, and he asked me if we wanted to do, if I wanted to do something. Well, I had this idea um, called a passion for filmmaking about a guy who uh, loves filmmaking so much that he will he'll, he'll practice even when he doesn't have a camera. So he basically goes around and he barks commands to people on the street with a bullhorn. Typically, I like to keep keep my uh, directing skills kind of sharp. You know, just finding scenes in everyday life that I feel I can have uh, some sort of manipulation over. You're walking across the street. You're going to meet some people for lunch. That you know, you're a little bit in a hurry. You don't want to disappoint these people. You're just trying to get to lunch. You're working good. Both of those films, Saul for X and A Passion for Filmmaking, were both on the Independent Film Channel. With A Passion for Filmmaking, I was very lucky to be involved with the Independent Film Channel in their online promotions. Um, they used it for everything to raise money and awareness of their online presence. And they used it and they had it shipped with every Microsoft Zune that was put out in 2008, which was, I, in my, I, I think it was a huge win for me. I'm, I'm a guy in, in, in Columbus, Ohio, making films, and millions of eyeballs got to see my work. And I thought that was pretty huge. It was actually really, really cool. I made another film called The Fixer. It's about a guy who wants to uh, win back his ex-girlfriend, but because he's so much of a loser, he can't even find a girl to help him make his ex-girlfriend jealous. So he ends up paying somebody to kiss him. Pucker up, big boy. Have you seen my dog? His name's, um, Friday. He's, a. Uh... Ah, oh, Tammy. Jeez, I didn't know you lived here. It's, uh... Tim, you are the biggest loser I have ever known. I don't love you, and I never did. Idiots. Next was a film called Horrors of War, which was a kind of a, a, a sci-fi war film set in World War II. I was co-director on that, and I co-wrote that. And that actually found distribution in, uh, ha in a dozen or more countries in the United States, which was, which was really nice and really helped out a lot. In 2009, uh, with a, a producing partner of, of mine, we decided that we wanted to make kind of a sci-fi film um, that had some social commentary to it. So we, we wanted to try to get make something that was kind of like on the Gattaca or Children of Men uh, kind of framework, where we would try to speak out against war, actually and the backdrop was a scientific uh, uh, um, uh, program that a woman had gotten into uh, selling her eggs. Open wide. I'm just gonna take a few cells from the inside of your cheek so we can run a DNA test. Okay, well done. Easy, right? They told me that if I pass all the tests that I'll be able to be a part of the program, I'll get paid $500 each. I'm not sure what that adds up to. They told me it depends on how old I was. Whatever the amount is, I'll need it. Hi, Terry. I'm Mr. Richardson. Hello. Well, all your tests are in. 
And I'd like to congratulate you on being admitted to the program. And it was an anti-war film. And we actually did pretty well in festivals and uh, we're very proud of that piece. And we spent very little money, maybe, maybe $3,000 on it, less than 3,000, probably about 2,500 bucks. Uh, shot for three days. And it was a lot, of, a lot of work, but it was a lot of fun. Right now, I, th I think the future is bright as far as filmmaking in Ohio. There's a lot, there's, uh, I think because of digital um, cinematography, it makes um, a product that really looks good more accessible to a lot of people. So there's going to be a lot more uh, productions that look great. And what that means for me is, is that the public is starting to become more aware that there are quality products being made in Ohio, which makes, I think, it easier for doors to start opening. You know, because we're kind of on the cutting edge. We're in the early part of quality stuff done cheaply on an independent level. I just want to keep making movies, you know. It's like a sickness. I can tell people it's a sickness. And there's no, there's no cure for it, man. You know, you, you, can, you, can kind of curb the, you can curb the sickness by making a film every couple of years, but you're never going to, you'll never survive the sickness of filmmaking because it's going to, it's going to keep you going for years and years, and it's just, it's, I just can't get away from it, <laughs> you know? I can't stop myself, you know? I'm taking loans out from my 401k, for God's sakes, you know? And it's, it's because I love to, to make movies and love to make, to make films and hang out with my friends, and it's, it's just fun, and I can't help myself.